right, so next up in the Cranks Doesn't Start Diagnosis series, we're going to talk about compression. So we already talked about fuel, we already talked about spark, now we're going to talk about compression and what can go along with compression is also engine timing. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can see the latest videos. So basically what compression is, it's a, it's a measurement of pressure inside of the cylinder. So when your valves are closed and the piston comes up, it's creating compression inside the cylinder and it's heating up the air inside the cylinder a little bit, getting ready for that spark moment. So your piston comes up, compresses the air, sparks, ignites the air fuel mixture, and then the explosion drives the piston down. So if you don't have compression, you aren't able to compress that air on the upstroke, and when you have that explosion, you aren't able to successfully or efficiently push the piston down. Now to better explain the purpose of compression, we should go back to the basics of how an internal combustion engine works. So we have four strokes on the engine. We have intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. So what's happening here inside the cylinder, intake valve opens, piston comes down. Air comes in, valve closes. Piston comes up, compresses the air. We have spark, ignites the air fuel mixture. Combustion stroke or power stroke drives the piston down and when the bus piston gets all the way to the bottom the exhaust valve will open. Piston begins to travel up and starts to push that burned air fuel mixture out into the exhaust. Now I did mention timing so let's talk about where that comes in. So your crankshaft controls the stroke of the pistons. Your crankshaft is also going to be driving a timing belt or a timing chain which rotates the crankshaft. The crankshaft is what controls the opening and the closing of the valves. If your timing chain breaks or timing belt breaks, your valves are not opening and closing when they should be and you run the risk of the piston actually hitting the valve and bending the valve. So if you have a seriously out of time vehicle or you have some type of a mechanical failure where your belt would break you could bend a valve or your valves could stay stuck open like they are right now. One way to check for compression is to use a tool like this called a compression tester. So it has a pressure gauge which shows the PSI in the cylinders, hooks up to this hose here and these fittings will go in your spark plug holes. When you crank the engine over the pressure in the cylinder is red on this gauge and you know exactly where you're at. Alright, so to perform the compression test, you'll pull off the spark plug wire, pull out the spark plug, and you will use this fitting in its place in the spark plug hole. So these tools are really nice if you want to check the, all of the compression in every cylinder and if you want to see what the reading is from cylinder to cylinder. But usually want each cylinder to be within 15% of the rest of the cylinders. But if you just wanted to see a basic uh, yes, no, I have compression or I don't, there's some easier ways to do it and I will show you how to do that. Way to do this is just a good old hearing test. So I have the spark plug pulled out. Here's just the wire hanging. I should have been able to hear a uh, like a compressed air release sound. It was kind of faint in the video, uh, but I'll show you another method. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towel. See, paper towels down here in the spark plug hole. Now I will crank it over and we'll watch what happens. As you can see with proper compression it just blew it right out of the hole. So if you're nervous about using a small piece you can use a big piece like this and 
just twist a little bit up it'll push this out of there too so that'll be able to show you pretty clearly you have compression or you don't all right so that's about it for the crank snow start series so hopefully that helped you fix your problem or at least get you pointed in the right direction so you can solve your issue i am by no means a professional mechanic i'm just some dude sitting in the garage drinking beer and working on cars this is some stuff that i've done and i've learned over the years of working on my own vehicles so hopefully i was able to share some of my knowledge with you and help you solve your issue uh, if so leave a comment below and let me know what you were working on and what I helped you with. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching for more videos.